So back for the dance night at Stoke City tonight. Uh, you did it last year. Are you looking forward to it again? I am, yeah. I mean, like I say, the last couple of years we've done it now, so uh, it's been a great atmosphere and uh, everybody enjoys itself. So, yeah, really looking forward to it tonight. Have you got a tip on anyone who you think will uh, do well tonight? Um, well, I thought, to be honest, last time Crouchy was playing, so I thought he might have been the off season because he's quite a tall one, you know, so, but no, he, he was useless as well. I think, you know, I haven't really played it, but I think I have a little feel for it. I tried to throw it a few times now, I think I'll do okay. Uh, well, I'm not so much under pressure, only one who knows how to play probably well out of us four is uh, Sidwell. Um, uh, so, uh, there are two more players who could be worse than me today, so I'm okay. <laughs> Bucky's favourite Ronnie O'Sullivan also played yesterday, beating Ben Williston 6-2, showing no ill effects of the ankle injury that threatened his participation in the tournament. He plays Matt Selt next for a spot in the quarter-finals. Yeah, tough, tough opponent for me, but I was pleased with how I managed to kind of manage to claw my own game back and kind of get, get over the line pretty comfortably. I mean, I couldn't walk two or three days ago. I was hobbling about, you know, so yeah, it's, it's getting better and better. Still a bit swollen, still a bit hot and it gets a little bit achy, but I'll, I'll take that all day long. And we maintain the pressure into the second half, but were this time denied by an excellent save from Cudder. They finally broke the deadlock on 49 minutes. Jamie Rainford's header just crossing the line, despite the best efforts of Ross Davidson. Marine did double their lead on 64 minutes. Josh Schummer managing to remain on side before slotting home the second. The Merseysiders were really motoring now and an excellent piece of skill from Rainford saw him pass two defenders only to see his shot blocked by John Shaw. But the hosts were given a late glimmer of hope when Burns headed in from Andy White's cross on 89 minutes. A new signing Steve Foster could have rescued a late point for Nantwich, but he spooned this late effort over the bar. Pleased with the three points, um, in stark contrast to our performance at the weekend, today was much, much better. 